Hi guys, welcome back to Kids and Grills. Today we are doing pork belly burn ends. Lovely, can't look looking forward to them. We're gonna cook them in the Traeger. We're gonna be using an Angus and Oink sweet bones and bacon rub. Happy days, that's gonna be tasty. Um, just one quick apology, because uh, this was actually meant to go live on Tuesday, but I was out on my mate's boat the other day and uh, it's fucking, it was like a scene out of fucking Only Fools and Horses. We uh, had a few problems with the uh, batteries and uh, so he lifted up the hatch in the bottom of the fucking floor. Anyway, I, I don't ask me what happened. I didn't fucking see it. It's a six foot drop, bosh. Fuck me, I fucked my legs up, I fucked me back up, do you know what I mean? So anyway, it weren't happening yesterday, that's the bottom line. So, but we're back in it today, so if I start looking like I'm hobbling a little bit, just bear with me, okay. Anyway, listen, start off with, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take these bad boys here, but I'm gonna take the skin off, because I ain't gonna do a crackling, and because we're doing it as burnt ends, I want these to be as soft and succulent as possible. So I am gonna take that skin off. Now some people do, some people don't, but when you're doing burnt ends, I find it better not to add the skin on. All right, let's get that off. Just takes a lot longer to render, do you know what I mean? And we don't want it to be fucking chewy, let's be honest. I mean, look how hard it's, I'm struggling to cut through it there, do you know what I mean? There we go. See you later, I'll go, yeah. Like so. Wow. Now you ain't gonna wanna watch me do this, are you? So we will be fast forwarding at this point. That's it, and then there was one. And we are done. And there you have it, guys. Then, very straightforward. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these into cubes. The prep side of this ain't too bad at all. I mean, if you bought a whole big pork belly like so, I mean, you could probably do some with bacon, some with pork, bur with, um, pork belly burnt ends. It's fucking, oh, it's endless, it's endless. Something looking similar to that, guys, you know what I mean? Like so, like so, and like so. Right, next stage. Pop that out of the way. We, I was just gonna pop that on there. Now I always find it easy to use one of these bacon trays here, especially when you're just trying to move it from, move everything around, do you know what I mean? I'll just pick the whole fucking lot up and go straight in the Traeger. We're only gonna marinate for about an hour a day, but while that is marinating, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna make up a, um, a homemade barbecue sauce, because we're gonna use that for the, uh, the final flavoring when we get to the stage we start basting this after these have got to the temperature of 200, all right? So let's get that out of the way. Okay, and then, simply guys, all we're gonna do, Angus and oink, sweet bones and bacon, and be fucking liberal. We want to get make sure we get a good covering over it all. So we don't waste any of that. What I want to do, I'm going to pop that on there first, stick that over there, and let's get this covered up, shall we? Lovely. Lovely. And as you can see, oh, slippery suck. <laughs> And there you have it. And then, very simply guys, these bad boys are going on here. Make sure we get it all. Quite a few out of it, that really, didn't we, to be fair. All right, and then that, that little lot's going in the fridge for about an hour. Well, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make up a homemade barbecue sauce. We'll see you in a minute, all right? Right guys, time to make the old barbecue sauce. Well, first of all, how are we gonna start this bad boy off? Little drop of oil in there. And the only reason just a tad, just probably about, I don't know, tablespoon, give or take. Pop that over there. And that is just so that we can sweat this garlic off. The old current bun's coming out today. It's gonna be fucking beautiful in here today. But uh, I'm just trying to see if I can get this sauce made up before the sun gets round. It'll be right in my fucking eyes, you know what I mean? Anyway, here we go. Right, let's get cracking. Equivalent of four cloves of garlic, guys. I know it's cheating, but it's fucking easier. See ya, saves a lot of messing around. And there, just sweat that off a little bit. Bring that round. You can't be these little bloody, um... <laughs> oh, yes. God, I took a big old breather fucking, what's name in there? Turn that down just a tad. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Right, to that, we are adding 
two cups of ketchup. Now you can use whatever you want, but I do like to use Heinz, guys, I ain't gonna lie to you. Even though they fucking rob you. Four pound fifty. Fucking four pound fifty for fucking ketchup. Honestly, don't get me fucking started. Alright. So you've got two cups of ketchup in there, guys. Give that a stir around. Okay. To that, we're gonna add one cup, here's one I prepared earlier, one cup of water. Now this will make a lot of barbecue sauce and it does keep for quite a fucking while. I mean, I've had it in there for fucking six weeks before, do you know what I mean, it's still been fine. But I mean, look, it's up to you. You decide how long you wanna keep it in there. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, just fucking handsome. Right, to that, we are gonna add a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. I use dark brown myself personally. All right, give it a bit of sweetness. And then also, we are gonna add a quarter of a cup. Now you can use molasses if you want. I'm using golden syrup today. Lovely, look at that. Yeah. Happy days, get it all out of there. So that's a quarter of a cup of golden syrup. Lovely, oh, it smells fucking nice already guys, I ain't gonna lie to you. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay, so that we're also gonna add a quarter a cup of apple cider vinegar. Gives it that sharpness, do you know what I mean? Lovely. Starting to take shape now, guys, starting to take shape. Now uh, to that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. Come on, baby. There you go. One, two. We are going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of, of uh, onion powder, one teaspoon of black, black pe uh, ground black pepper, sorry, one teaspoon of salt. In she goes. Give that a mix up. And then last but not least, guys, this gear is a bit fucking lovely. It is, it is called liquid smoke. And with for that, we're gonna add ourselves one teaspoon of liquid smoke. And that is it, guys. Close that off, shut that down. What I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, okay? And then we're gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes. That boiling should thicken her up a bit. To be fair, though, when we're using this with these um, pork belly burnt ends, Sometimes when it's a bit runnier, it works a bit better. All right, let's get this up to a boil. And here we go. Once she's reached the boil, she's bubbling away like a good one. Looks like a fucking, <laughs> looks like a witch's cauldron, doesn't it? <laughs> Couple wubble, boil and trouble. <laughs> Silly sot. Then we're gonna bring this down to a simmer, guys, all right? There she goes. And that is gonna simmer for 20 minutes. And then, that's our barbecue sauce done, guys. And really, by the time this is done, about another half hour, we'll be about ready to stick those, um, that pork belly into the old Traeger. Now I'm gonna set the Traeger up for 275. Now they weren't the biggest chunks of pork belly, so I don't know, a couple of hours. We're trying to shoot to a temperature of just under 200. Then we're gonna bring them out of there. We're gonna put them in a tray. We're gonna add the uh, barbecue sauce. We're gonna cover them up. And in they pop again. Right guys, we are at the 20 minute mark. It's time to have a little taste test, I think. Oh. Oh, that's fucking handsome. Oh, that is lovely. Oh. That is gonna be perfect on that pork belly. I tell ya, let's say we won't use it all. There'll still be some left over. I put it in a sealable container, bosh, straight in the fridge, be able to use it for everything else, do you know what I mean? That's fucking lovely. There we go, we are done. Right, you can hear the Traegers now. I've turned the Traeger on, we set her up to 275. Once that gets up to temperature, that should be just about the right time. We're gonna get those pork belly uh, burnt ends in there and get them smoking, do you know what I mean? Right guys, as you can see, that they've taken on a lovely colour with that sweet bones and bacon rub from Angus Noink. So all we're gonna simply do, we're up to 275. 
And all we're gonna do is stick these bad boys in straight in the middle there. Bosh. How's about that? Very straightforward. Now, we're gonna wait till them bad boys get to just under 200 degrees, then they're coming out, they're going into, into a pan, add the barbecue sauce, back in again. I'll see you then. Right guys, we are at the hour mark, it's time to have a butcher's. Oh, fucking hell, they look lovely. Let's have a quick protest. Still got a way to go yet, guys. Certainly not pro tender yet. What I am gonna do is just give them a little flip. They smell bloody lovely, guys, ain't I like ya? Right, I'll see you in about another 45, I reckon. Right, guys, we've hit temperature. They are looking fucking handsome. Get into the next stage, let's get you over to the bench. They look fucking lovely. Look at them bad boys, do you know what I mean? Happy days. Stick that over there. Right, next stage. Let's get these fellas in here. They're literally pro they're literally pro tender, just under 200. Okay, and we're gonna braise them in the, in the uh, barbecue sauce now. They smell fucking magic, I ain't gonna lie to you. That in there. Right guys, you must get some of these. These are so fucking handy, look at that. Look, watch this, ready? One twist, tight as a gnat's chuff. Right, let's get that out of the way. I'll nick that little bit. Mm, good, okay. Well, all we're going to do, pour some of this beautiful homemade barbecue sauce. Lovely. Like I said, I told you you wouldn't use it all. I want to get it all mixed up so she's all covered. Make sure we get every little piece covered up because we're going to braise this for about 20 minutes. Get it nice and hot. About 20 minutes, maybe half hour, see how we get on. That's what we're looking at, look at that. Then, oh, make sure we get that one and all. That on there, that on there. Bit of aluminum. <laughs> and then guys, we're going straight back in. And I shall see you guys in about 25 minutes. Right guys, it is time. Let's get these bad boys out. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. They've tacked up lovely now, guys. Let's get them out, shut that down. Let's get these bad boys on here. Oh, oh. oh mate, I can't wait. I literally can't. Oh look, they're falling apart, guys. They're falling apart. These are gonna be so bloody tender. Oh look. They literally just won't hold together. It's always a good sign. Okie dokie, nearly there. Nearly there. Happy days, let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that. Ta -da. Look at that. Are we ready? Let's go with that one right in there. Oh. Oh, mate. That is fucking handsome, guys. Oh, yeah. You've got to try this. Honestly, I'm going again. They are fucking beautiful. Literally beautiful. The uh, Angus and Oint sweet bones and bacon, you can taste that. That lovely barbecue sauce. Now, I've got loads of it left, so I better use it for other bits and bobs, do you know what I mean? So none of it's gonna go to waste. But I've got to say to you, that is fucking beautiful. Oh. They're tender, juicy. Oh, mate. That's gonna be a fucker to stop eating them, I'll tell you. Anyway. If anyone put them in front of you, you wouldn't be upset. Now remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons and I'll see you next time.